With all the snow and temperatures dipping, you need to make sure your house isn't in danger of leaks. More specifically, the hidden dangers posed by ice to our home's gutters. Mikey Hood joins us live outside the PTL studio. So Mikey, what do we need to do if we spot icicles or ice on our gutters? Oh, Heather David, good morning. I have the perfect answer and it is it is cold outside this morning and while you're at home in your furry socks and in your blankets, ice and snow could be causing damage to your house. So Andy Amrine is here to the rescue from EV True Value Hardware to tell us what to do. Well, that yeah, there's when you get the ice dams and the ice buildup and everything in your gutters, it can really cause an issue in your house mm -hmm. if you don't do something about it. Now there's ways of preventing it. And also if you didn't prevent it and you get that ice built up on top of the gutters, there's some ways that you can fix that. Uh, the easiest way to prevent it is to make sure you cleaned your gutters. Okay. Now we're already into the winter. Uh, if you're not doing anything today and you want to go clean the leaves out of your gutter, that would be a good help to prevent the ice build up on it and why cleaning out your gutters because that ice builds up when you get the snow that builds up on the gutter and it can't go anywhere because it's full of leaves and debris. Mm -hmm. So either clean the gutters or there's heat cables that you can put on the house, but you don't want to be doing that in the winter time. This is what you could do in July and August mm -hmm. that helps to prevent it. And these heat cables for the gutters are marvelous because they work on a thermostat that if it gets cold, 30 degrees, they turn themselves on. Mm -hmm. And when it warms up again, they turn themselves off again. And what the heat cables do is they prevent that ice and snow from building up inside the gutter and up the roof itself. Now what to do if you didn't have these, you didn't have the gutters clean. I love that technology then, though. Yeah, yeah. It, it works. <laughs> mm -hmm. Those heat cables work very, very well. They make a snow rake, a roof rake, and it's a plastic. It has a nice uh, guard on the bottom. It so looks you're like not a shovel. Gonna, and it is. Mm -hmm. It's an upside down shovel and it comes with different sections you can add to this where it's 20 25 feet long and you're just reaching up on the roof in a big snowstorm like we had those 10 inches mm -hmm. a lot of people would get the ice damage with that much snow on it so you could take it put it on the roof and rake it down off the roof and then you get the snow off of the top part of the roof and the gutters it's going to prevent it from freezing itself That's now say idea. you didn't do this, you didn't do <laughs> you this, you didn't any do this. any of that, what to do if you get that ice dam built up and you want to thaw it out quickly. Uh -huh. So there's different ways of doing it and calcium chloride is the product for you. Now you may be familiar with calcium, especially the little white beads of calcium Ooh. that you would use for doing ice on driveways and so forth, mm -hmm. but getting those little beads up on a roof could be problematic unless you have I mean, a, you could just kind of toss it up there you could just right? toss it up there yes <laughs> or if you have a window a bathroom window a bedroom window that you can have a coffee cup or a little scoop or something and dump it out the window and you mm -hmm. put it on there but the calcium works so fast on ice if you took an ice cube and put a little pellet of calcium on it it'll instantly melt through that ice cube wow. and that's what it'll do for the roof but they also make calcium hockey pucks, I mm -hmm. call them. But these are roof melt pucks. You can buy a container of these pucks. And how easy are these going to be to throw up onto the roof, like throwing a baseball or a yeah. tennis ball up on the roof instead of trying to use those little pellets? And so this is different than salt. This works much better this than This is salt. calcium. You cannot use rock salt. Mm -hmm. Rock salt will not melt the ice. Plus, rock salt will damage your gutters oh. because it's very, very corrosive. Mm -hmm. And magnesium, the other salt product, it'll work, but it takes longer because calcium works super, super fast. Mm -hmm. And it also works in like minus 40 degrees. So it'd it. be the best product. If you do get that ice build up on there, you'd want to get calcium in those gutters as quickly as possible to melt it away. Andy, you saved our homes. <laughs> Thank you. That's what we're here for. Great tips. And uh, we'll send it back to you guys. Happy New Year and stay warm. Happy New Year. <laughs> Such great information, Mikey, Andy. Thank you so much.